More now on that second breaking story, a deadly hit and run accident. The accident sent responders to 75th and Maple. That's where Matthew Smith is now. He joins us live. John, police are still putting together the details of how exactly this occurred. In fact, crash scene investigators are still here blocking off both directions on Maple Street as they try to get a better idea of what exactly went down. But police tell me that they already have a good idea of how this happened. Investigators believe the driver of a white car was rear-ended and forced into oncoming traffic, killing the driver of that car. The driver of the pickup you see also injured but is expected to live. Now, this accident happened at 75th and Maple, but police think that it didn't stay here for long. In fact, a third driver took off to 73rd and Grant. Actually, showed up at that area, and the driver admitted to me that he caused this crash. Listen to his confession. It's video you'll only see on 6. Matthew. Do I know you? Just a big accident, man. My, my fault, that accident. Police tell me they were able to catch up with that man so quickly because of a good Samaritan. A person was actually chasing that driver all the way back to that apartment complex you just saw that man at. We're going to have more about his story coming up tonight at 10. For now, reporting live with photographer Mike Danker, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News.